Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a resin experiment. I'm going to be doing a kiss pour, which is an acrylic pouring technique that you can find on Smart Art Materials um, YouTube channel. She came up with it. He or she, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. And um, so I'll be using Artworks Resin, which is my favorite resin at the moment. I find that it stays clear, the hardener, in the bottle for a really, really long time. And it's thick, so it gives an excellent coating, and plus it works well when tinted with all kinds of stuff. So I'll be working on this cradle panel here that I got at Michael's. And I'm going to be painting that black. And I'm going to be pouring a black background of resin with a little bit of the Color Art Resin Art Luster Pigments. This color is Azure Mist Resin. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of that in the background and then I'll be using white and that one on its own. And I'm just going to pour that on doing the kiss pour and move around the, I was going to say canvas, but no, a piece of wood. All right, so let me go set myself up here and I am going for this.
All right, you guys, so I gave this some time because I had a feeling that the eye would morph there, and it did, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's really, really pretty. I knew that it wouldn't make a perfect circle, so that's why I went in with my toothpick and gave it some uh, twirls there. Now, I did speed up the tilting part because unlike acrylic paint, the resin moves really slowly. And I didn't want to bore you to death there. And plus my camera wasn't high enough, so it kind of cut off. Sorry about that. I didn't think about the uh, angle of tilting. Now these pigments are so pretty and they do so much magic on their own. It's not the first time that I use them. And every time I'm surprised. Check it out, it's like, they set perfectly. I'll put the link to the in the description for those uh, color art resin pigments if you want. I found that it looked like a fish. Now it's too reflective. You know, if I go on top, you don't see it very well because of the black. But yeah, I found that it looked like a fish, so that's why I decided to add an eye there. It's so cool. So I'll be giving this a clear resin coating and posting it on my Facebook and Instagram. Hope you like this. Bye guys.